Greetings, travelers, and how goes the come up? It's, it's me, your boy, Soul Filet, back at it again with another cook-off. And today, we are going to be playing some Counterside Ranked PvP. It's a new day, a new dollar, and a new PvP meta. So I have comprised this devious team involving A Sigma, um, and I'm just super excited to try it out, see if it's any good. Uh, I'm running, of course, Sigma, Awakened Sigma, because she's fun, her team-wide buff, and uh, overall s sustainability will be nice with her uh, tank build. Hopefully she will be able to get a few ults off today, despite our lack of skill haste. In, uh, in lieu of our tank build and no skill haste, I have Yang Harem to speed up those skills and make sure she gets her ult off faster. I have Yu Jin. Rearm Yujin to deal with backline units, Hand Sorm for overall damage, and to synergize with our Kim Hana operators so we can actually uh, get that buff off. Nah, Yubin Awakened. Nah, Yubin is great for um, tanking uh, and uh, just being an offensive threat. Probably the most offensive defender in the game, I want to say, or one of the most offensive defenders in the game. Uh, definitely the most offensive Awakened defender, I would say. Maybe AJ comes close. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not quite sure in PvP. Uh, but uh, we also have Carmen too, because with uh, how frail Nayuban is as a tank, he needs a little help. And that's also why Laura is our leader, so she can apply that team-wide debuff to the enemy team. And finally, we have Hera, because she's not, she's upped by one, and she is just insane already as it is. If you guys didn't know, Hera is a supporter that not only buffs your team's attack as time progresses, but also has the ability to convert low-cost enemy units, that is, enemy units that are too cost or under, to your team temporarily. I, I believe it's around 10 seconds. Very difficult to deal with if your enemy brings uh, summon units or low cost units. I should say she can also convert summon units. So, for example, Laura summons Pluto, that little cat you see. That could be turned by an enemy harem and uh, basically converted to their side for a few seconds. Very strong. So, without further ado, enough rambling for me. Let's hop right into it. We are using Enterprise as our ship because it's my only 130 ship and it's not banned this week, so that's basically my reason for using Enterprise. I did a couple testing matches just to see how this team would do, and we did alright. Hopefully we'll have the same luck here. We have a Laura, another Laura user, so this is going to be a battle of the debuffs. Let's get right into it. I'm excited. Alright, if he plays his Laura quickly, I might go for a Yujin play, try and kill as quickly as possible. Let's play our Laura in the back. He's not going to play his... That's interesting. I see, okay. Let's do that, and then let's do this. Then let's play... Let's try and get everybody in here. I'm going to play Hansorum. Then I'm going to play Harab. And then... I'm going to go on for a little bit of a Yujin. Uh oh, now Yujin's gonna die. That's not good. Oh, I might be in trouble, guys. Yeah, unfortunate. Looks like, um, Na Yujin got shredded, unfortunately. That is why he is the paper bin. Uh, he does get shredded pretty easily, so that will happen occasionally, and honestly, I'm okay with that. Let's get our lore down, see if we can't come back from this. Um, definitely maybe should have got the Carmen up first, played as defensively as he He played way more defensively than I did, and he clearly got the upper hand. Uh, ooh, wow, okay. And he's got Awakened Yuna as well. This is going to be a huge threat, what with, um, all this stuff coming in. <laughs> Wow, this is, this is not fun for me, I'll say that much. Uh, and that looks like it's going to be a good match. A good try for the first game. Um, definitely could have probably played that better. I think if I played a little more defensively. Uh, playing Yujin right away maybe wasn't the right play. I don't know how nothing died on his end, maybe. The Lucretia Immortality was slow up? I don't really know what happened there. I felt like Eugen should have killed something, but perhaps not. Perhaps not the case. Um, yeah. Oh well. I always feel like the first um, match I do in videos is a loss, so 
no problem there. Ooh, an A-Hild user. We don't usually see those. That's pretty interesting. So she is going to try and push us back. Hopefully, we can keep her away from our ship. Now let's see what I can do here. Um, Interesting, interesting. Now, A-Hild is interesting because she cannot be barrier inverted by Nayuban. Nayuban inverts barriers, if you guys did not know. And, uh, ooh, A-Sigma, okay. You know what? Um, I will play this. Then I'm gonna play this. And now we play Nayuban, right? Because that is gonna get rid of the horizon immediately. And it's gonna allow for us to get our own A Sigma up soon. Okay, alrighty, I like that. Um, do we play, what do we play here? Okay, let's play our own A Sigma. And hopefully we can prevent her from doing her thing. Uh, I want to get my Yujin down, if, potentially, just because of all the, uh, the Gaiyun and all that jazz. Alright, let's get that done. Yeah, I want to hopefully try and get uh, my units up before he can get his Sigma ult off. That would be really bad if he got a Sigma ult off here. He's got his Mia as well, that's also not great. Looks like Mia died though to Yujin. Yujin already being just a monster at work, huh? Absolute monster. Now, he is gonna try with his Horizon here to come back, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. He is gonna cause a bit of a disruption, but with all the damage, it looks like it's too much uh, for the poor a Hild user to handle. I'm sorry, a Hild user. You're incredibly based for using her. Unfortunately, the power of Na Yuman is too much. And look at that! A Sigma got her ult up. <laughs> poor a Hild can't do anything. She's completely stunned. Oh well. GG indeed. You'll love to see Yujin getting a lot of value that match. As you can see, she was killing the Mia, she was killing all the stuff in the back line, just sitting comfortably in front of our Na Yubin and Awakened Sigma. Very difficult to deal with. Look at that damage from Awakened Sigma coming out, and Yujin, Na Yubin as well putting in a lot of work. Just a really good match played by us overall. Um, the horizon was a little interesting. I I can definitely see what he was going for, trying to protect his A-Sigma. Like, I don't think he played bad at all, it's just uh, his team comp might need a little work. Um, yeah, it was, it was overall a good match. I love good matches like that. Let's hope to find another. Alrighty, we have chanced upon another opponent. A likewise Nab Yubin user, so this is going to be interesting. Interesting indeed. We'll have to see who wins. I am very excited, very excited indeed. Uh, unfortunately, it does appear that we do not have our Nab Yubin in our first hand, but he, she's right there. So honestly, we should be okay. Let's play Han Sorum as well as Laura here. And he's bringing out Warden. That's interesting. Let's do this. Let's play our own Nayubin. And let's see if what we can do here. Now he is going to bring in his own Hansor here. And his is, unfortunately, a lot better place than mine. Hopefully I can kill that Hansor there. Uh, unfortunately not, it looks like. Ooh, not good. He placed a lot better than mine. Look at that. He is all in my back line. Looks like he pushed past me somehow. Unfortunate. Looks like I'm cooked. Uh, our only p choice now is to try and go for an A-Sigma play, but I don't think we're going to be able to get it off. Ah, that's it. Good match. GG. Unfortunate. He definitely played better than me with the, um, he waited for my units to come sort of to the center, and then he played his Nayubin to where they were too close to escape, and his Nayubin was able to basically, uh, push faster than mine was, that's why. So his now you've been gone to my back line and I couldn't do anything about it. Uh, it is what it is. We don't really have any uh, good pushback or stun besides I think Laura. Um, I was hoping Yujin would kill something but I don't think she managed to pick a kill. So that's probably where my downfall was at large. Maybe the correct play would have been to play my own A Sigma and attempted to restabilize. I don't know though. I, I had invested so much with the Han Sorum Laura play. 
interesting indeed. All right, we are back against uh, Mega Emblem. I think I faced this guy before. I don't know if it was on camera. Uh, I definitely faced him before though. So let, let's see how this goes. Um, he's got this guy coming out. He's got his own Laura, probably. Okay, I'm gonna play my Laura in the back here. Then I'm gonna play my A Sigma. Just to, just to get a little something going here. Ah, AJ, that is very bad for me because AJ kind of shits on um, a mech. And <laughs> guess what A Sigma is, right? A mech. So let's try and get Carmen down for that survivability. And then we can... Uh, I guess we save for Nayuban, perhaps? Um, we can play Yujin to try and get rid of that Laura. Wow, that damage is strong. Woo-wee! There goes all my uh, attack speed. Uh-oh, there goes my uh, front line. And all my skill haste is going to be GG, I think, for me. I should have probably saved up for Nayub in there. Uh, good match. Unfortunate. I think if we had Nayubin, maybe things would have been different. Not sure. Oh, yeah, I think this is the same guy that beat us before. We definitely could have played that better, I believe. I should have saved up for Nayubin. Look how close Laura was to getting another ult off. If he, she had gotten another ult off, perhaps we could have um, survived a little longer there because Pluto could have tanked. But uh, it is what it is, you know? Um... We are close. I always hate uh, getting a character back in my hand that has a full ultimate. He had a lot of flying units as well, which kept away from my Yujin, so couldn't really do much about that. Alrighty, we're up against uh, a AJS user. Let's see how this goes. AJS is pretty scary. Those counter attacks he does do hit the back line pretty hard. We're going to have to play very defensive if we want to keep things alive. Um, but overall... I think we'll be okay. We do have Eugene, so... Alright, he's gonna play that very aggressively. I'm going to wait a second here, because he's going to counterattack. And then I'm gonna play this. And then I'm gonna play my Na Yubin when I get the opportunity. Alrighty. Uh, no Harab in my hand, which is unfortunate because I kinda need it, right? <laughs> Like a Herobray here would be monstrous, can you imagine? Uh, let's instead throw down a um, Yang Harem, just to help with everybody's uh, HP. Now let's throw down our Harem. Hopefully she can turn somebody before they die. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Let's get our Carmen down here. That was a little too far up on the Carmen. The Carmen should be eh, Maybe not. I think we're okay here. I don't think he's going to be able to come back. <laughs> so we actually turned the uh, Einzen's Y against him. Alrighty, he's going to respond with uh, Na Yubin right there with his ult, so that's going to be really threatening. Oh, or he's just going to die instantly because of Yujin. Amazing. Good match. Project Krex doing some really good stuff there with the uh, AJS. Unfortunately, it was uh, kind of difficult to deal with a Yujin against a uh, AJS. A a Eugen is definitely difficult to play into when you have AJS. Uh, Alright, let's try and get one more good match in here, and then we can call it a day on the Na Yubin Awaken Sigma fiasco. Alrighty, we are up against a Jercasia user. Very high ranked. I faced one like this uh, when I was testing and got destroyed. Hopefully, I have learned from my mistakes, and I can make a difference. Now, hope, oh, I was hoping to see uh, Harab in my hand so I could turn her. Yeah, that's not great. I actually am going to play A Sigma into Eugen, of course. Very unfortunate. Look at that, Dracassia. Dracassia needs to get turned quickly. Okay. Was that not enough to turn Dracassia? Is Dracassia 4 cost base? Did I misplay? I thought Dracassia was 3 cost base. I think I misplayed, guys. Yeah, she is. She's 3 cost base, isn't she? 
or yes. four cost based, sorry. I thought she was three cost and she would get turned by my um para, but apparently that was not in the cards. Ah dang, good match. Unfortunate. Because that match was so fast, we'll do another one. It was a very good rush comp. I thought for sure Jakasi was three cost based and the leader would make it so that she would be turnable by Harab. Did she get turned? I actually don't know. Yeah, she is three cost based, so she was leader. She should have got turned. What happened, huh? Let's take a look at this clip. I don't usually review my... But I want to see what happened here. So I play that. There's that. I tried to stop Dracosia from getting in too deep. Okay. Yeah, Dracosia didn't get turned. I wonder why. Maybe there's a game mechanic here I'm not understanding. Where she got cleansed by something. Very interesting. Either way, I don't know what that was. Um, Jacasio should have been turned by uh, the two cost because she was two cost, right? Some maybe somebody can tell me in the comments. I don't actually know what happened there. It's very interesting. Doesn't look like she got the debuff though. Let's see here. Two cost or below units, yeah. And I heard I somebody told me that this affects the leader, but maybe they changed it or it never did affect the leader cost reduction. Because Tracasia was leader cost reducted, she was two cost instead of three. Hmm. That's interesting. Very interesting. You learn something new every day, guys. You learn something new every day. Alrighty, we are up against an Orca Gamer. Let's see how things go. This is going to be our last match of the night. Alrighty, let's pop down Laura if we can. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Let's play Eugen here. And then let's play Awaken Sigma. I played Awaken Sigma way too late. Oh, maybe not. Uh, that's good stuff. Let's get Yang Harem down to protect our team. Ooh, a Jake. Uh, not cool, a Jake. Not cool at all, a Jake. Oh, this is doing so much damage to our team. Very unfortunate. Uh, let's play our hand swarm down. We need to get Nayuban up as quickly as possible, I believe. Uh, it doesn't matter. We cannot sustain. No! Unfortunate. AJ does just counter mechs so hard, guys. It's so difficult to deal with. Uh, GG. I guess A Sigma is going to be very difficult to play in a week where A Jake is free. She is just going, she is just going to get kind of murked. Ah, good match. Well, <laughs> wasn't a good PvP night for me. Perhaps I need to make some revisions to my team, but that's good. That's all good. It's all about the learning. If one day, I'd, per I'd perhaps like to get a 110 Dracasia up like that one guy had in Masarel Dracasia, because I do love Dracasia and I have her, so she is definitely on my to-do list. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Uh, have a nice night, everybody. Or day.